Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Para DJ. DJ. And it's cruise day. We are going on a cruise. It's cruise season, the start of cruise season for us. This is true. It's we have our own season. First <laughs> cruise of our very own cruise season. We're so excited. We are in New Orleans, just Love outside it. of New Orleans. We're in Metairie. Uh, if you followed along on our adventures, we had a few New Orleans vlogs where we showed off what we did around the city. Go check them out. But now it's cruise time. We are going to go board the Carnival Valor here in a little bit for yes. five days of excitement. Then we're going to come back to New Orleans for a day. Then we're going on the Carnival Glory after Whoa. that. But anyway, focusing on the Valor right now. <laughs> That's right. One cruise One at a time. time. That's how we approach life. <laughs> One cruise at a time. We're getting ready to go hop in a vehicle. Actually, Team Carl. Carl and Donna, they're going to give us a ride to the port. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, we've also got Favor and Rob of uh, Life with Favor on yes. this cruise. we got Josh and Michelle of Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. And a whole bunch of other cool people. It's we'll, kind of like a group cruise. No, it's not a group cruise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll introduce people. People as they pop up in the videos and all that stuff. But anyway, we're ready to roll. Yep. So let's get to the port, get to the ship. Bye. Sound like a plan. Yeah. Bye. Bye. No. garage and we have the carnival valor right there now i can't get right through here so they got it locked away for safety so you got to go down and around and all that stuff but otherwise beautiful we made it Survive security. We're making that last climb to the ship. It's the exciting time. Yeah. Now don't don't you be falling already. Oh, first steps. <gasps> yes. Vacation time. Vacation time. We've already been on vacation. Wow. Cruise time. We have arrived. So has everybody else. Hey, we have found our way down to deck one. We are going to go drop some bags off in the cabin. Breaking in the doors that, you know, you're not supposed to break in, but living that deck one life. Oh. We've got our friend George right here outside the door. I'm assuming that's George. Oh, the door's open. What? Our door was open? Gosh. Alright, we are in the cabin doing a cabin spin. Dee's doing a little bit of unpacking real quick. Anything that could wrinkle or is in a real pressing need. Get it? Pre pressing. <laughs> uh, to be hung up. I guess we're just going to chill out for a little bit. Uh, it's kind of warm in this room. The thermostat's on all, all cold, but uh, you know, hopefully it'll cool it's down. It's a hot one. <laughs> Nolan's, you hot. You hot. So we'll see what we're gonna do. We're gonna get oriented, situated. I guess I'll do a cabin tour. Funny thing is, on the Valor and the Glory, I don't know if I've mentioned yet, I booked the same cabin number. So since the layouts are identical, we're gonna know exactly where we're going when we actually hit the Glory. We like so, consistency. Yeah, so the Valor kind of gets us ready for the Glory. You know, anyway. Ooh. That, that was exactly what I was gonna <laughs> say next. So anyway, we'll see y'all when we see y'all yes. in a minute. Bye. Let's do our quick cabin tour, starting with, well, the cabin door. We are in <gasps> Muster Station D. We, we did get Muster Station D. So we have standard interior. We have three closets crammed here by the door. We got, wow, the room comes with a free dress. That's that awesome. Mine. Oh, I was excited. I was like, I get a free dress? <laughs> Life jackets. Now everybody always says check behind the life jackets because people like to leave surprises. Um, I don't think we got any surprises. I'm gonna say no. Surprise! Coat hangers. And a third closet with some more free stuff. Oh, that's blurry. That's mine too. Camera, can you focus? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing back here? I 
was putting my uh, straightener in and I hit the button to the hair dryer it scared me. Oh my gosh. I, I, I am trying to do a professional tour here. <laughs> so we have more things and stuff. This camera is not wanting to focus. There we go. Full length miroir. We do have the mini fridge underneath here. Nice little counter space with another, well, I thought I'd see myself. There I am. Snoozing signs, we've got the cards for if you want to order your breakfast, and they do have the pay options on there, the pay breakfast sandwiches, but the rest of that is free. Oh, I like how they have the colors on the sweeteners now, just in case you don't know. Pink, blue, and yellow. We've got the television, the desk area with the little safe in here, D keeping everything safe and starting up hair dryers and all that. <laughs> Your little pool towels, beach towels, and a bed, and some nightstands, and some artwork. So, boom. Oh, there's also a bathroom. I should probably show that. You probably should, yeah. Here's the little stick thing knob where you try to get your room cool, and you just hope that that works. And we have the shower with the shampoo and the body wash in there. And there's if you have to poo poo, and towels, shaving mirror. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, hello. Well, that was cool. It was the uh, the guy bringing our two dozen bottles of water that we ordered ourselves, not Carl. Carl did not order us any water this time, so we got us some water. And we do have the single 110 electrical outlet and the single 220, which, well, I don't use. We do have the notepad and the golf pencil. A lot of people were sad to see the old plastic pens go, but you know, got to save the turtles, so we have the pencil. Same old uh, room service menu, I think, that we're used to. Yep, there we go. Daytime dining, a lot of free items, a lot of pay items, and your evening pay menu. Well, the evening menu says from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. I thought it was 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Did they change the room service plan again? What? 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I misremembered that. No, it was 10. <sighs> it was definitely 10. And that is the cabin. So one more spin just to take it all in. There's Dee. She's representing, she's got the shirt on today. You too. I like it. Did you forget? I did, actually. I don't know what I'm wearing, so. You have Bye for now. Bye. None shall pass. He's kind of freaky. He's guarding the theater. We're exploring on deck four. So they do have the stairs where you can choose to go to deck five. Of course, you have to get by that guy. <laughs> and then down to deck four. So let's continue roaming deck four. Hello. Ca -ca! So we have a little art gallery up here. <laughs> let's check out everybody in the lobby. This is the photo gallery area. What's going on out here? Ooh, it's definitely cooler out here than it was in our room, but they need to crank the cold on this ship, I'm telling you. Crank it. Why does this look like a giant chocolate fountain to me? It's somehow a little less delicious. Nope. We've got the Circle C area leading into, I guess, the balcony of the Lincoln Dining Room. We are in the Washington Dining Room in the aft, but we can peek in here. Something about Lincoln Dining Room having a balcony? That just doesn't bode well. Didn't bad things happen to Lincoln in the balcony? I believe so. In the theater. So that appears to be as far as you can get on deck four without going outside or doing something weird. So we're going to come back into the atrium and climb a flight of stairs and go on deck five. But first, we ran into a library. Oops. So this is the Iliad Library. Yeah, they had like the Ivanhoe Theater, the Iliad Library. Cool. I guess you could read the Iliad while you're in the library. Homer would approve. No, not that Homer. Doctor's puzzles? I want, of course. <laughs> Sneak in here and do a quick little casino peek around before it opens, and you know, those sorts of things are frowned on. Oh, table game action. Not yet. That's later. All the gambling is going to happen later for some of the group. Yeah. Oh my. What in the... eating his hair. Yeah, he this is, has yeah. such a delicious beard, he just can't help himself. <laughs> and then Darth Vader over here is just laughing at him. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> oh, he used to have a delicious mustache. Tickle, tickle, tickle. 
man. All right, we've decided to head back toward the front of the ship from the uh, casino. What time do the shops open? Oh, I told you. True, so the shops are not going to open until the sea day. We actually don't have any shop action this evening. Because you're Interesting. in the Mississippi Salon. There you go. Look at us being informative. So here's what a shop looks like if you could get in there and buy all the shiny things. But you can't. But you can't, because there's glass like this. Oops. <laughs> Ouch. So no cherry on top today. There's going to be no gummy funnels. No. Man. You can get a gumball because it's outside. That's true. So here's what the candy on top looks like. Oh, it's called cherry on top, not candy on top. I do that every time. <laughs> this is one of the smaller ones, but still exciting. You can buy cardboard boxes full of um stuff. Fire extinguishers. Oh, let's check out all the sports. You know I love my sports. We'll get in here before it gets too crowded. Oh, there is nobody enjoying sports in here. You got your secret back entrance to the casino. This is where they keep their D's over here. Oh, of course, you're watching. Oh, wow. Look at all that sports. They are sports in so hard right now. I don't know, it's magic. What are you doing? Oh yeah, your spin is kind of being interrupted by some bad turning chairs. Woo! Heck yeah. It's as crazy as I get. Woo. Wow. It's a sports bar spin. <laughs> That's not even a full spin. Here's how hey. here's how spins work. What's up? We're getting all the food. <laughs> Got another shop that we can't go into until, you know, later, but here's what this shop would look like if it was open and there weren't a few f uh, fingerprints on the glass. <laughs> wow, we'll be back in here to look at all this stuff and things later. I like how they have alcohol and it says cruise memories. Wow. You're not going to remember. <laughs> that is how you erase your cruise memories. Yep, that's how that works. They do have one of the sailing sign kiosks here, which you can use to check out your account and all that stuff, and you can also get small change bills. You can break your big bills into like tipping money and all that kind of stuff. So that is very handy. So now casino bar where you can also watch all the sports if you desire. We'll head back toward the aft and see what there is to see. Oh my gosh, look at that Java, Java, Java. That is cute. This is the former Future Cruise desk. Now that they sort of gutted that program, they don't really do much with the space that I know of. Carnival Adventures, maybe they have somebody here doing shore excursions or something at some point, but mostly abandoned, I think. Little fun hub station, complete with a printer and everything. They do have those nice looking fancy pastries here. Ooh la la, not free. These are available for purchase and they always look so delicious. We've, tr we've tried a couple of them and they are actually quite delicious usually. Got the good old Red Frog Pub. Do you actually play darts here? Yeah, you got darts, all kinds of cool games you can get up to. Um, I think you just kind of have to use your finger and you just go, hee hee, I win. Oh, I see they've got the sign about Red Frog Happy Hour from two to four today. Oh la la, fish bowls. That's dangerous. Laura said to get the fish bowl. Oh my gosh, the, the beachcomber. Beachcomber, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you can get that because it's it's red frog on deck. But I guess they do it in here too. Ooh. There's that cool little staircase that goes down to I believe the Winston's Bar area. We've got this is the Taiyaki area on the Conquest. Don't know what they get up to here. Maybe a taste bar or something interesting. Yeah. Look how cute this arcade is. It is a train car thing. This is the ship, the, this class has like a huge arcade too. This is like the Liberty where we spent 500 years in the arcade. As soon as you get in here, it is warm. It's about as warm as our cabin. Currently. <laughs> oh man, look at all these it games. It is so big though. Yeah. the fishbowl game? Yep, yeah, right there, I see it. Yeah. This is one of the ones where you can win the tickets and redeem tickets for prizes. And boop, 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 boop. You can spend a lot of money very quickly in here. Oh, it just got real loud around this corner. Isn't this exciting? They got the fish, uh, the fish dropper game that we won prizes on on the Liberty. So much excitement. They got smush squish mellows. What are these called? Smush mellows. Baseball rule. No Connor the cow though. No. I'm trying to make a video over here, baseball. Shh. 
there's a little duck machine where you get a prize every time. I think it's normally a dollar to play, right? But yeah, if you, wow, they're talking to me. If you come during happy hour, you can get a duck for 50 cents in case you like hiding the ducks around the ship or keeping them because that's always a thing too. We have the, uh, that's really hard to read, but it's the One Small Step Dance Club. Uh, Dee is using the things in here to actually do a little dance. Um, what, I don't think you have to follow the printed footsteps on the floor, but I mean, I, I appreciate that. Okay, she, she's gone, so. I mean, that might be a thing. Yeah, they're like, please stand on the table, and you know, you just kind of hop from one to the other. <laughs> uh, they'd probably kick us out if we did that. It's nice and cool, it's my favorite. It is. And they do have the ramp to get on the dance floor. Oh my gosh. I wish it changed colors when you step on it. Ooh. It's been a long time since I did a fast spin, y'all. That makes me dizzy. I know that just weren't all your eyeballs. Woo! Oh yeah, then we've got this little nook back here that's the alchemy bar. I think the piano bar is around the corner. That's heading back toward the big aft lounge. Oh, these are the people that monitor your drinking, I guess, to make sure you're not doing too bad. George Washington's like, no, you don't need to get another one. You're cut off. <laughs> Thanks, George. Nobody asked you. Got Patrick in the Lindy Hop piano bar. Here's where they keep their knees. Oh no, you're, you're not sitting. That joke only works when you're, uh, there's where they keep their knees. Yes. Yeah, I saw the airplane above the piano. I guess, you know, Lindy, obviously. Airplanes for Charles Lindbergh. So we've come back now to the aft atrium. Let's see, do they have a big, yep, they do. There's always some sort of other big art piece that hangs down back here in the atrium. I think it's a giant bird if you look at it from the right angle. Yeah. But we have the nice big aft lounge where the punch liner and all that stuff is. Eagles lounge. We have Paris Hot, which probably, well, it's a bold fashion choice. Uh, but I mean, that's why it's so hot. You All you can wear is bananas. And then when you're done, it's so hot, you could just eat the bananas. It just cooks them. They're delicious. Oh my gosh, ma'am. Excuse me. No, ma'am. We're not gonna have to have it with that, that. That can't go on YouTube, ma'am. So we'll be happy to look at your bananas, but uh, that is all, ma'am. This skirt is bananas. B N A S S S N N. I forgot how to spell bananas. Whoa, we got our own soundtrack from Santana when we walk in. Hey, now. Copyright, copyright, copyright. We gotta talk over it so YouTube does not get us for copyright. We're gonna have to have to pan real fast so we're not focusing on all these ladies just wearing bananas. <laughs> what in the world? YouTube does not like that. No. This is a cool little lounge. I guess they do karaoke and stuff like that in here. Yeah, so, we'll be in here. Yeah. Woo! I always like these huge mungus old school lounges. Look at all this seating. And this place does fill up for comedy, it's a funny thing. I mean it no, it's huge. It'll get full. Yeah, I mean I think of the comedy lounges, yeah, that they're putting on ships these days and how tiny they are. But yep, definitely a lot of eagles. Oh gosh, they have like neon um, colorful eagles. Oh <gasps> did the eagle bit me. That eagle bit you. Eagle? We don't have words. <laughs> right We're gonna have words about this. The carpet, the tables, everything covered with eagles. Wow. This is where they keep their D's on the spinning. Yes, you do. Everything that spins. I mean, I can't blame you. Yeah, no, you made that joke before. Like, if you don't want to talk to your neighbors, you just. Did I? I guess at some point you made that joke. We don't recycle jokes or gimmicks on this channel. We don't. Time for a spin. Oh, wait. Where's your sock of the day? Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, they have a real live eagle trapped in glass back there. I'm pretty moody about it. Good cross, it's like a zoo. <laughs> he is amazing at standing still, that eagle. Wow. Going up to deck nine. Lido, I think it's time for some water. Deck nine. Lido. Yeah, it's 12. Let me eat some food. 